Huckleberry, are you ready for school? I don't want to go to school. It's boring. I hate being caged by the constraints of society. Well, I don't care. As long as you sleep under my roof, you should do as I say. I want to be free, truly free, out of my own in nature. Well, I don't care. You are going to learn how to be civilized, starting with learning how to read and then learning about religion. I gave up on that religion stuff. None of my prayers are ever answered. Well, if you pray daily, you will get what you ask for. Even people that pray daily don't get what they ask for. You are a fool, Huckleberry Finn. Come here, boy. What do you want from me? You know what I want. I want that money. I don't have it anymore. What do you mean you don't have it? I sold it to Judge Thatcher. But I have this. What's that? It's a dollar. That'll teach you to mess with Huckleberry Finn. I'm truly free again. I gotta find some food. Jim, is that you? Yes, it's me. What are you doing here? I ran away. What about you? I overheard Miss Watson talking to a slave trader about selling me for $800. So I ran away before she had the chance to decide. I guess we're in this together, huh? We need to build a raft and head down the river. All right, let's do it. I wonder if I should write Miss Watson and tell her everything about what's happening with Jim. No, don't. We can free him together. We just need to figure out a plan. You know what? You're right. We can free him. We just need to figure out a plan. Yeah. I know. We can dig a tunnel under the shed so Jim could crawl out. Or Jim could saw off his legs so that to free himself from the chain. Never mind. That was dumb. Yeah. I got it. We could steal the key from Silas so we can quietly unlock Jim and sneak him out. No, that plan is too simple and it's as mild as goose milk. We can remove one of the walls from the shed so Jim can get out. Nah, we'll go with my plan. Okay. Tom, we gotta be quiet.
Come on, Tom. Jim! Come on, let's go! Did you hear about what happened to Jim? No. What happened? He's locked up in the shed again and people are thinking of hanging him. Really? Well, I think I should tell you that. Miss Watson died about two months ago. And in her will, she stated that she regrets everything she's ever said about selling Jim. And she stated that Jim should be set free. I made a full recovery on my bullet wound. That's good. I would like to go on another adventure with you. What are you thinking? I'm thinking of to the Indian ter territory to the west. And I'm thinking of going soon because Aunt Sally is already trying to civilize me. And I'm done with that stuff. Okay. I now know the truth about Tom Sawyer and how he knew that Jim was free this whole time. I believe Jim believe his more humanity and integrity than Tom. Tom's still immature, but he's also still my friend. Aunt Polly has offered to adopt me and let me stay with her and Silas. But I, if I'm being honest, that's the last thing on my mind. I think I'm going to enjoy being on my own in nature, being free. After all, there's no better way to live.